Hi, I'm Harry Weir, and this is being filmed on Burley Farm, which is uh, on the banks of the Rangitiki. We have a lower flat in the top terrace, and Burley is uh, about 4 k's from north of Bulls on the main drag. So my wife Chloe and I own Burley, and we are also co-founders of the company called Kiwi Tech International. And Kiwi Tech is uh, now a true family business with both daughters being involved full time in the business. So Kiwi Tech uh, was formed basically to market and commercialize some of the inventions that I've come up with uh, in the development of a grazing system called techno grazing. So I'll go into te what techno grazing is in a minute, but just uh, the inspiration for going in that direction came from several sources. Um, when I was very young, I read some um, authors like Andre Vazan and McMeekin and became persuaded that rotational grazing was the answer. But when I was at Massey University, uh, just prior to taking over the farm, uh, our class visited an experiment at Aorangi being run by Ray Brougham, who was director of Grasslands DSIR. That's since become Ag Research. So Ray was running a trial uh, involving uh, several replicates of uh, young bulls brought in as calves and uh, farmed for just over a year at a stocking rate of about 7.5 animals to the acre, 2. Point, uh, yeah, sorry, 7.5 to the hectare, 2.5 to the acre. And he, was, he looked at various factors affecting production, but basically it was a low input system and over the this experiment eventually ran for more than 20 years and he demonstrated the ability to grow over a thousand kilos of net carcass production per hectare on a consistent basis. So as I say, I was already a convert to rotational grazing and um, Ray Brown's trial was just confirmation that yeah, if you uh, really went to it, you could crank out considerably more productivity from that technique. Now Ray's mob size was quite small because of the, the need for several replicates and we always had a hunch that that was part of the answer as to why he achieved that high production. Um, and when we started uh, trialling the idea, we soon found that small mobs of bulls were much more socially stable and caused much less damage during wet weather. So um, we'll just go into a brief um, look at some of the gear involved in the techno grazing concept. Uh, we actually sort of, QTAC has, a split, has a, a split personality where we sell hardware or widgets as we call them, but we also sell a, a knowledge product which is basically the techno grazing system for which we give courses, we do design work and consultancy. So we'll just look at the, the, some of the items involved in the system as you see it behind you. And firstly, um, our permanent posts here are what we call arrow posts. Uh, they've got these wings which stabilize the post, get a really good firm grip in the ground and give it extra stiffness at the same time preserving or even increasing the resilient factor. So the resilience of our permanent fences is, is the key idea, the key difference in, or point of difference in our fencing. Apart from the flexible posts, we use lighter than normal high tensile wire, namely 1.6. And in addition, we use often two long springs in each strand of wire. So that gives us a considerable flex, which makes it immune to the kind of damage that bulls dish out and allows us to drive over the fence and also pin the fence down for stock movement. So that pretty much covers the vitals of the fence. Um, just here we have something called a micro trough. And it's actually, it hasn't got a ball cock, it's a, a pressure plate that the animals push on to get water. And uh, believe it or not, that's good for about 50 adult cattle. So we plant these underneath the hot wires. Uh, we put an extra post in there to keep them so they've got a free access for drinking. The other item you can see on this quad here is called a power pack, uh, which is a device for winding up wires with an electric motor and a... Um, slip clutch. It has a guide system as you'll see later which is in different modes for when you're running out the fence and when you're picking it up. But It has a, something called an extractor which 
actually rips the treadons out of the ground. So all you've got to do is stow them in that rack up there. Just while I've got my hand on this, uh, it looks pretty strange. It's called a stock rod. And um, it's an animal handling tool. We don't have dogs on Burley. And uh, hopefully we might get a chance to give you a demo of what that does. But it's really magic um, for doing things out in the paddock, drafting, um, forcing into yards and things like that, getting them to cross fences. Uh, but it's really a psychological tool. We don't shock the animals. They know what it can do, so they have enormous respect for it. Right, well, I think that... Oh, well, we'll explain a little bit about the techno. As, as we see it, you're looking across what looks like a big mob of cattle. In fact, there are fences running across your field of vision, and there are eight individual groups. So you can see how they're all run as if they were one mob, and the poly wires behind and in front of them are continuous. They go from this fence to the far boundary, which means that when we're putting fences up and taking them down, we don't have to deal with a, a series of short fences and anchoring them off at, at each partition. We just go, the wires, the poly wires rest on top of these permanent fences, and so we don't use so many treadons. And picking it up and laying it out is very quick. And um, the shift itself, well, eight mobs, we can do that usually in about 15 minutes. And if you think about that, it would probably take most farmers more than that to shift one mob, given that we're shifting the water supply to go with them. Okay, um, probably I'll add some more comments as I go through the, the process of shifting. The first step is to drop the poly wire in front of them and they're gonna walk over it or run over it. So I'll go down there and I'm gonna ping the wire, pick up some slack and we'll see. Okay, boys. You ready? Go.